Tonight, I talk to the St. Louis Health Commissioner about the new surge sending COVID cases to an all-time high. The new steps the city has taken to combat it, but the obstacles in the way, especially in hard-hit minority communities. That is tonight's You Paid For. St. Louis Health Commissioner Dr. Frederick Eccles says the city has never seen COVID numbers like this in the city, a spike owing in large part to the Delta and Omicron variant. Um, today, the health department has over 700 um, cases that are being reported, and this is a new record for us, you know, along with our percent positivity, uh, which is now the documented percent positivity is 24 uh, percent. But in actuality, our percent positivity is probably more like 40 to 45 percent. Is that the highest since this pandemic started? That will be the document, doc, the highest documented percent positivity since the pandemic has started. Dr. Echo says not enough people are wearing masks, not enough are being vaccinated, and not enough are using the COVID treatment available at the infusion centers, one of which is in North St. Louis. What's your view on how the state and the Parson administration has handled this crisis? I think there have been a lot of challenges. You know, this has not been an easy uh, pandemic to navigate for a lot for a lot of reasons. One, you know, the political um, issues that have come up over the uh, course of the last two years, um, as well as you know, funding. Funding has been a, a challenge as well. The city is taking new steps to meet the crisis. Among them, securing new testing resources because not enough people have access to COVID testing. Doing more to bolster contact tracing. That job has gotten harder because of the lack of staff trying to beef up the homebound vaccination program. Dr. Eccles is not alone in fearing this surge. The city is working closely with Affinia Healthcare in this COVID crisis. Dr. Kendra Holmes is Affinia's senior vice president. What would you say is the positivity rate now? Uh, so probably I would say 25 percent in certain certain areas and underserved areas. I, I would not be surprised if it was close to 50 percent. Those are the numbers that we are seeing at Affinia Healthcare. That seems that that's more than when the pandemic started. Absolutely, yes. Well, of course, we've seen more deaths. What's your feeling about that? Uh, you know, I, I just it's very disappointing to me to, at this point to see that um, again testing sites are not in uh, in North City in North County once again. Um, very, very disappointing. And just in my opinion, it just shows the lack of, of health equity in St. Louis and the, and the true focus on health equity and, and health justice. But as for the population at large, how long are we going to be wearing masks, for example, in your opinion? Well, I, I, don't, I don't see it us not wearing masks anytime soon. When do you think this will end? Um, honestly, you know, we just don't know. Um, I, I wish I had a crystal ball and I could tell you uh, when the pandemic will be over. But what we do know is that um, SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, will be with us uh, for quite some time. And so what we have to do is learn how to coexist with it. So just like the United States and people had to adjust and adopt and coexist with the flu, we're going to have to learn how to coexist with SARS-CoV-2. And both say Omicron... Uh, causing huge issues, both Dr. Eccles and Dr. Holmes do encourage people who have contracted COVID to go to an infusion center that provides treatment to help your body fight the virus. It is clear from both of them that this is one war that won't end anytime soon. A war where they say the minority community is taking the brunt of the casualties. Of course, I'll keep track of this important issue. After all, you paid for it.